You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. COVID-19 continues and so do CNA Heroes. Denny Darby, a 31-year-old CNA in Gloversville, New York, started working as a CNA in a nursing home about a decade ago. According to his family, even Denny didn't think he would stick with the difficult work with the low pay. However, like so many, he found satisfaction in improving the lives of the patients. He vowed to continue caring for his patients even after the nursing home saw its first COVID-19 diagnosis. Denny's cousin, Elizabeth Duplago said, he was not going to let his patients lack for care. Wearing blue scrubs and a surgical mask, Denny was one of nine healthcare workers photographed on April 17th for a panel of images encouraging people to stay home to curb the spread of coronavirus. Just 31 days later, the certified nursing assistant at the Fulton Center Care Home was admitted to a hospital in Albany after he became gravely ill from COVID-19. On May 20th, he died from the infection. The Reverend Bonnie Orth, who encountered Denny as she ministered to congregates at Fulton Center, said he was someone with passion for his work. She continued, I don't think it was just a job for Denny she said after presiding over his funeral. It was a calling. He was obviously called to that position. Denny lived with his companion, Stacy Morrison in Gloversville. He was a father figure to her two young sons. Denny followed his heart by doing what he loved doing, the Reverend Orth said, and boy, we need that in this country now because we have so many folks in nursing homes who really need loving care, the Reverend continued. Denny Darby, you have given your community 10 years of your life taking care of their frail and elderly. Your family, friends, residents, and community mourn your passing. It is a tremendous loss for all. Everyone, please join me in recognizing and honoring the life and service of Denny Darby, CNA hero.